Let's begin with a synthetic dataset to illustrate the user interface and basic functionality. The dataset is sampled from two intersecting 2D planes embedded in 3D. The user interface is organized as follows. The dynamic projection window is on the right, which displays the dynamic transition between the selected projections. The view navigation graph panel is on the left, where the subspaces are represented by rectangular nodes and the PCA projection is represented by a circle node. Their relationship is captured by a k-nearest neighbor graph, computed based on the Grassmannian distance. The slider between the start and end position thumbnails illustrates the progress of the transition and allows the user to freely play back the animation. Now we focus on a 10D combustion dataset that contains a collection of 2.8 thousand samples. The spatial information is discarded for parameter space analysis. Each sample is drawn from a 10D input parameter space that corresponds to the concentration of 10 chemical compounds with the temperature as the observed variable. In this dataset, five subspaces are extracted, and their relationship is captured by the graph on the left. By showing the distortion map of PCA projection, which provides a per-point estimation of the projection accuracy, we know the points roughly corresponding to the orange subspace cluster that exhibits relatively larger projection distortion. We will show how the dynamic projection illustrates what contributes to the high distortion, therefore helping us better understand the space. We start the exploration by dynamically transitioning from the PCA view to the view of the cyan subspace, then to the purple, and eventually to the brown subspace. By rotating the bases associated with each view, we observe a small amount of tilting during transitions. Such animation provides an intuitive understanding that these subspaces are likely glued together with small rotational angles, which indicate these three subspaces share a lot of similarity with each other and the PCA projection. When transitioning from the brown subspace to the orange subspace, we observe drastic expansion of the orange points and compression of the brown, purple, and cyan subspaces. The animation indicates that the orientation of the orange subspace is very different from the other three subspaces we have just visited. Such an effect could also be observed in the axis of the biplot, where the O2 and HO2 concentration are the two dominating dimensions for the orange subspace. Finally, we transition from orange to the black subspace, where the animation demonstrates their similarities in terms of the small rotational angle. Overall, the brown, purple, and cyan subspaces share structural similarities. The black and orange subspaces are closely related, and great disparity exists between these two groups of subspaces. This result explains the distortion discrepancy displayed in the PCA projection. The orange cluster exhibits larger distortion because of the very different orientation between the orange subspace bases and the PCA projection direction. The YaleFace dataset is a subsample from the original YaleFace database. It consists of 439 face images of seven people. We use random projection to reduce their resolution to 10 by 10. Therefore, the points are embedded in 100D space. As shown in the view navigation graph, the subspace analysis gives four 2D subspaces and three 3D subspaces. We start our exploration of the data from the PCA view. The points in the PCA view are arranged in a circular fashion according to the continuously varying lighting conditions, despite giving poor separations among different subspace clusters. When transitioning from the PCA view to the brown, cyan, and orange subspace views respectively, we observe a rotational motion around a horizontal axis. In each of the respective subspace views, the focused cluster is shown to be well separated from the rest of the data points. In the orange subspace view, we see that the green, purple, and orange cluster form three stratified sets. By validating with the face images, we see that these three clusters mostly contain images from an Asian female and two Asian males respectively. Furthermore, we observe that the amount of shadow in the images increases as we move along the dominating direction of each cluster towards their overlapping region.
The misclassified points, highlighted by the dotted circle, appear at the top of the embedding that correspond to the images where most facial features are in deep shadows. When transitioning from the PCA view to the red subspace view, we observe a slightly different rotation. The resulting embedding does not exhibit clear class separation between the red cluster and the remaining points. Further exploration reveals that along the dominant direction, the images in the red cluster vary according to the directions of lighting. This trend is very different from the one from the green, purple, and orange subspace clusters, where images vary along the dominating direction according to the amount of shadow. Such a distinction between the two groups is likely caused by the differences in facial features and skin tone. The Jigobi system utilizes the dynamic projection for visualizing high-dimensional data. It defines a series of transition target projections, either by random generation or by switching among different projection pursuit indices. As illustrated here in the video, due to the random nature of such transitions, it may take significantly longer time for a user to identify the informative views representing meaningful structures. The projection pursuit indices try to capture a predefined set of properties, which may not make sense for the given dataset. As shown in the video, the algorithm cannot find a hole-like structure in the combustion and digit datasets, but it is able to capture the hole in the Yale face dataset. In our proposed framework, the source and target views are obtained through subspace analysis, which naturally captures the intrinsic structure of the data. With the help of the view navigation graph, we believe our tool is more likely to avoid misleading projections and reveal important structures more efficiently.